for you too? Was, have there been sort of key moments, even spurs, arguably? Um, spurs, triggers, anything? Okuna comes from a very boring family. <laughs> Let me yes, warn you. <laughs> she has no sad stories to tell about her childhood. Nobody oppressed her. Come on, Coco, how can we make you interesting? <laughs> I'm very boring, I'm afraid. Um, I think that uh, in my case, because I didn't have a lot of external restrictions, like you were also saying, because my parents were, uh, you know, but I led a very unusual life because I was, in the sense, my parents separated when I was uh, six. Uh, I grew up with a single mom and I, I'm, I, I had a great uh, relationship with my dad and my parents were also, you know, amicable, which was great. So I found that... Uh, my, what was my normal was not anybody else's normal. So in a sense, I've, I, I guess, uh, and my parents also weren't like that. So I feel like in many ways, I uh, don't conform to many things. Uh, and that itself feels like a bit of a, um, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, not a rebellion, but uh, what were you saying? Like, uh, a challenge, maybe. Yeah, a bit yeah. of a challenge Being to a certain an extent. Yeah. And then learning to be comfortable with that also. I mean, in the sense that I did, I have to say, feel comfortable with it quite early on. But, you know, now speaking of this kind of a context, I feel that um, there are so many restrictions which I have internalized, you know, which I became aware of much later. Even though, you know, my mom didn't put that many restrictions on me growing up, I've gotten restrictions in terms of, uh, which we all kind of internalize, you know, in terms of, you know, I uh, wanting to wear high heels. I mean, if you just think about it, high heels, the way, I, you know, are, are so bad for your spine. It's so uncomfortable for many women. And it's so internalized. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, and including with myself, you know, uh, wanting to be hairless, you know, uh, when you wear something sleeveless or something short. You know, we've just internalized it. it these are restrictions which we put on ourselves, yeah. which we don't realize are restrictions because we say, no, but I want to be hairless because I think it's desirable because I want to do it for myself because I want smooth skin why because that is all what we see what what has been shown to us as desirable in terms of images yeah, all yeah. our lives are hairless because we don't see any diversity in those images so I'm seeing a lot of these restrictions in any case filter down to us in any case we internalize it and often we're not even aware of it so these kind of restrictions are yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's actually, it, it, it's scary how many, yeah, well, once you sit and you get down to it, like yeah, the, the really thousand. frightening one. Yeah. yeah. Bahar ke restrictions to one can see and one can yeah. fight against. What do you do for coming <laughs> from inside? And as the liberated ones, you know what I'm saying? As as the feminists, you know, even, you're, yeah. yeah, you're absolutely right. They don't allow... I, I just went to the parlor to get my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was carrying tongues over here. No, and I, yeah, I mean... I but you did it for yourself. Have you? And yes. for both of you. <laughs>